So how are you feeling today? I'm getting better. But I'm still feeling things. Serious pains on my on my ankle, on my knee, on my laps. Yeah, don't worry. With due time, you'll be fine. Okay? Thank God you're healing very fast. Well, um, I have to talk to the doctor to give me a referral letter. So we'll move you down to a hospital closer to us. The distance coming here is really telling on me. With due time, you'll be fine. Okay? Thank God you're healing very fast. Well, um, I have to talk to the doctor to give me a referral letter. So we'll move you down to a hospital closer to us. The distance coming here is really telling on me. Titus? What did you just say? I'm pregnant, sir. Who is responsible? What do you want me to say now, sir? What do you expect me to mention? No, now. This, this is wrong now. This is so wrong. Why would you be so careless? I told you I'm married. I'm a married man for crying out loud. Well, sir, I asked you to use a condom. You refused. Anyways, please, I need some money to abort it. Who will give you the money to do that one? Me. We'll give you money for abortion. Don't, don't, don't even say that close to me again. No. I should give you money to go and do abortion. Oh, sir. Sir, sir I, I, it's, still, it's, it's still bloody now. It's not yet Don't say that close to me now. I should give you money to, 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 to go and kill an innocent child. It's not a child yet. What, what do you mean it's not a child yet? Why will you be so careless now? This is not fair. I told you to use a condom. You mean that boy is not your son? Oh, shit. I'm very guilty. I've been spending millions on her because of that boy. I don't know why you choose to live such a life. I don't know. Huh? After everything I told you, you claim to be a giant at home. But look at you. Why allow little children to play with your emotions outside? I've been a fool all this while. A very big fool. Look, look at what you have done to yourself. You wore a queen, a crown of thorn, and allow a commoner ride on her horse. I just pray you get kids back so you can give her the crown she deserves. All I'm asking for is a second chance. If I don't get Kate back, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Wow. That is a lot. 500,000 Naira. So why don't you instruct your account officer to stop her from taking money from your account? No amount can be compared to what I did to her. So do you want her to liquidate your bank account even before you leave here? Mm. She can't liquidate my account. But if doing that will make her feel alright, then I don't have a problem.
she's no more on a decent side. I think she's doing her this. I am tired of being called your wife. Because I am no longer that woman. That is why. Now mine are too small for you to say hi. Hi, Mr. Uchi. Here. Divorce paper. Sign it and we are done. Excuse me. Titus, has it gotten to that? How can you think of taking your own life? What's the need of staying alive? lost everything. There is no need staying alive. Leave me, let me die. Let me die. My wife has left me. What else? Let me just die. I have always told you that you shouldn't lose hope while you're still alive. You need to stay alive. Once there is life, there is hope. Things can still turn good for you, Titus. I'm just, just, I, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still trying to imagine it. Oh, wait, you mean you want to take your own life? Come on, there is nothing worth dying for. You should be grateful to God that you have businesses still doing well. No. Get well and get back on your feet. I can't do this alone. I can't imagine losing my wife. But you never acted like you loved her. Please. If she leaves me, I will die. I will die. I will die. Do you want to die? It's the same woman under your roof. You treated her like a slave. You were meant to adore this woman, to cherish this woman. But you inflicted pains, fear in her. I don't blame her. I don't blame her for leaving you when you needed her most. Because you didn't treat her nicely. You should be grateful to God you have a second chance. <sighs> Mr. Ushe, please, this is not the time to apportion blames. No, let, let, let me tell let, let me talk to him. I told you. This is not the time to apportion blames. This is time to, 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 to give him hope. To make him believe that he can still get things right again. Just stay alive. Stay alive. Every other thing can be fixed. You don't need to kill yourself when you still have, when, when you still have hope. There's still hope. God. Very, very grateful God for giving you a second chance. What you want to take your own life? I think I will have to discharge him. Since you people will not stop bombarding him with so many family problems. Come on, doctor, it hasn't gotten to that. It has gone beyond that. I said, it has gone beyond that. If you commit suicide here, people will not believe. You people will even blame it on us, on our incompetence. Nobody will believe it was you people that killed him with lots and lots of problems. Doctor, come on. He brought it upon himself. Then let him be. Let him be. He is not dead yet. He is still alive. And whatever it is that went wrong, he can still fix it. Once there is life, there is still hope. With what language do you want me to say it before you understand it? Doctor, calm down. Calm down. Okay? Don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. I'm so upset here. You people are, are, are frustrating me. I'm trying to get this man to normalcy, and you people keep making him go worse by the day. See, if you people will continue like this, then I will have no other option than to discharge him.
it. She came home drunk. Oh, not again. Please help me, help me put her on the couch. What is going on? What? Go. Oh. 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 Juliet, why are you crying? Hmm? Why are you treating us like this? What have we done to you? I, I don't understand. Did I do something wrong? I I don't remember. I forgot. But I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Mommy, why did you start drinking? You have completely changed. It is men that used to drink, but daddy doesn't. I wish he's not to live like this. Mommy, you no longer get us ready for school. You no longer care whether we eat or not. Mommy, you no longer have time for us. Were you treating us well because daddy was beating you? No! No, no, how can you even say that? I'm sorry, I love you both so much. Mommy. You make our classmates laugh at us. I'm, I'm sorry. Mommy, you're making us feel ashamed of you. I'm sorry. I, 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 I don't... I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I, I can't... I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Oh, this is where we will be staying from now until uh, our departure date next week. Okay. Did you hear that? Huh? I want to see my daddy. Oh, sweetheart. You know, this is me again. This man seated here is your daddy, okay? The other one is your uncle. It's not your daddy. Okay? Come on. How long will this continue? My son. I mean, saying right before me he wants to see his daddy. I don't get it. How long will it take him to recognize me as his father? Don't blame him, he's still a child. You know, he he grew up knowing that Titus is his father to the stage. I'm sure when we travel out, he will grow up realizing that you are the real father. Please, I'm begging. Junior. Okay? I am your daddy. I love you so much. This is your mommy. Hmm? And I'm your daddy. You get it. 
I love you so much. Hey, Juliet, what's your school in that assignment and to give? Um, 10 over 10. Oh, uh, I'm serious. I'm how can you score 10? It's a lie. Hmm. 10 over, I'm serious. It's a lie. Hey, you're my darling. Come here. <laughs> Mommy, come bearing good news. Okay, I am here to tell both of you that I have paid for a new apartment and we are moving tomorrow. <laughs> Mommy, will daddy join us then when he returns? No, your daddy won't be joining us because I and your daddy are no longer together. You both are divorced? No, but we will as soon as he sign the divorce paper. Mommy, please forgive daddy. I want you both together. Mommy, please. Juliet, you know how your daddy beats me all the time? He treats me very badly. I can't be with your father anymore. Mommy, I thought you said he beats you because he loves you. Well, I lied. You know, when you grow up, you understand how these things work. Mommy, I'm sure Dad will no longer beat you again now that he's sick. At least... Will you shut up your mouth? Shut up your mouth! What do you even know? Oh, what if you think you came here? I, I came here to beg you. Do you know what? Don't pack your things. Don't get your things ready by tomorrow and I will pack my things and leave both of you. You stay with your father if you want to stay with your father. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Mom is very angry with daddy. If she takes us away now, we may never see our daddy again. But daddy was so wrong to treat mommy very badly. Is that why you don't want to see him again? No, I didn't say so. But I won't blame mommy for being angry with daddy. Should we leave with mom and never see daddy again? No, I still love my daddy. Forgive daddy. I am sure he needs you now. Please, mommy. We still want you both together. Why are you both doing this? Why are you doing this? You, you're sounding as if you've not been with me in this house and see for yourself how your father almost killed me with beating every day. So you want me to stay here and wait for him to recover and then get back to beating me? Please, I can't. Let me just move. Mm -hmm. Is it push to stop this? Even if you want to divorce him, please allow him to get better. Yes, please. Please listen to them. And I promise I'll help you fix things in your home so all the things you've suffered in the past will not recall itself again. You don't understand. I just will never repent. It's not better I live now that I am still alive. I don't support domestic violence. But divorce is not the best option. It does not affect couples alone. But the kids are at disadvantage in the whole process. So please. Kate. Kate, please don't leave. Mike, even you. Yes, please. For the sake of everybody in front of you, for the sake of your kids, please stay. 
If you leave now, it will look like you're leaving for your own selfish interest. I know Titus messed up, but I believe he must have learned his lessons as well. Just give him a second chance. If he comes back, just draw your lines. And if he can't cope with it, then you both can go your separate ways. But I think this is the wrong time to leave, honestly. <laughs> Sweet dreams, so beautiful nightmare. Sweet dreams, baby. Sweet wild dream. Um. Have you slept? Yeah, that's fine. Have you slept? <sighs> so, this is how you be singing lullaby every time before he sleeps? I mean, is this what we're going to be going through? Baby, please. Just give him time. I'm sure he will get used to the fact that you're his father. Please. Time. Give him time. With time, he will recognize me as his father. I mean, how long? What even hurts me the most is he cries right before me demanding to see his father. Come on! That gets me upset. Baby, please. Calm down, okay? We will get through this. Everything will be over our time. Very soon. Time is of the essence. They say it's for better for us until death do us part. I wanted to maintain that oath. My parents couldn't maintain theirs. My mother married three times, and my father had four wives. Growing up was so difficult, so I swore to keep my marriage intact no matter what. Now I see where this problem is coming from. You're the cost of it? What? Me? If you know what I have endured in the hands of this man, you won't blame me at all. That is the point. When you start enduring in your home, you do not need a soothsayer to tell you that you should start reconsidering your place in that house. But he kept telling me he loves me. When threat comes into a home, it means two things. The person issuing that I have no idea of love, which can be called an obsexy. Those are the two most dangerous things a home should break for. An obsessive man can kill his wife and kill himself. A man who hates can also kill his wife and move on with his life. I never meant for my marriage to, to break. You know, I, I saw an oath in the presence of many. Those that celebrated your marriage, they will still gather to celebrate your burial. So it's better to talk about your divorce than talking about your death. Can't you understand? Yes, but I just felt if I continue staying, maybe he would change. And your staying have made things worse. If a man has beaten you for no just cause, first, you need to make him understand that you're no longer comfortable with the beating. And when he refuses to stop, then you have to leave. You are not leaving because you want to. 
but because you do not want to lose part of your body at the process. But I have left once. When I came back, things became even worse. His family members have tried to talk him out of it on several occasions, but it doesn't change anything. And then it continues? Yes. I was really afraid of losing my home to another woman. If you don't belong, you'll be beaten to death. And another woman will come take your place. So the earlier you realize that life is more important than marriage, the better for us. So, what do I do? Hmm? How, how do I you know, make things right? You have to start afresh. Build a career for yourself and make it your number one priority. And any man that calls himself your husband should understand it and accept it. Okay. But sincerely, I don't think I ever want to go back to Titus. I don't think I can give him another chance. This is serious. We are fine. Uncle, thank you for helping us change our mom. Yes, Uncle, thank you. She no longer drinks and she no longer goes out. She always sits at home to read books about marriage. Thank you, Uncle. Thank you. It's okay. You see, everything is going to be fine, right? I'm going to make sure that your parents come back together in peace again. Uh, Uncle, we'll be very happy if you do that for us. Let me tell you. Don't you worry. Like I said, Everything is going to be fine, all right? I know you guys must have gone through a lot, but not to worry. God is going to perfect all. So where's your mom now? She's inside. Oh, let me see her. All right, see you guys later. Okay, thank you, sir. Honestly, I 
wasn't ready for a home. My husband has been toxic. And I thought it was love that was making him punish me. You're just realizing that you were intelligent. You should have known about that long before now. I have never read a book about marriage. The past few days, these books you gave me has opened my eyes to a lot of things I never knew. In the olden days, our parents were taught so much about marriage by their own parents, grandparents, and relatives. But in our time, we are at disadvantage because no one is teaching us. We do not even have time for our own children. Look at our girl children. They know nothing about miseration until they are disgraced in public. That's because we do not teach them. We do not have time to teach them anything about life. We are only concerned about money and in all kids. I think I know what's wrong. There is a problem. And what is it? Tell me, we can put heads together. I don't to love Titus anymore. Yes. With his feast and howlings, he has managed to chase out all the feelings and affections I ever felt for him. Uncertainty. Is a way of life, Kate. You may not know what the next person will come up with. Just like you do not know that your husband, Titus, will turn this way. If you will take my kind advice, I will advise. You stay calm, stay put, because it's obvious nothing else can be done. I just feel like divorcing him. I, I don't think I will ever be able to love him or tolerate him anymore. Kate, this is where God comes in. This is where you need to pray and meditate on God's word day and night. I know with his infinite mercy, God will revive your love for your husband. You mean that boy is not my husband's son? Uh, yes. It sounds funny, but that is the truth. As you speak, the woman ran away with her boyfriend. I went as far as traveling to Abakaliki in search of them. And I was told they ran away. Yes, but the lady in question, the boyfriend, and the child, they are nowhere to be found. Oh, wow. Well, that's self status, right? I am sure by now he'll be licking his wound. Oh, you should be happy or grateful to God that he's still alive. 
Yes, he almost committed suicide. Thank God, myself and the doctor were there to rescue him. If not by now, he would have been dead. God forbid. He will not die. Well, I think he's regretting all his actions. Yes, he's a different person entirely. For the best gift God gave to me, you are my prayers answered. You are everything I want and even more. Today, I want to plead on behalf of your majesty, which is my woman. I want to go on this journey with you forever. Titus, yes. Yes, Titus, I will spend the rest of my life with you. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> I'm glad you love it. We're all just going right back. <laughs> I loved him so much. I'm sure he loved me too at some point. I wish he didn't turn into a monster. Yeah. My brother Titus took after my father's lifestyle. But from what I'm seeing, I believe he's a different person in time. I wish he is. Actually, a different person. I want my man back. Trust me. He still loves you. Believe me. I'm very sure of that. I want the man that proposed to me on that day. I want the man that gave me so much love that I agreed to to be with him forever. I want that man back. My brother Titus still loves you. Every day he still wants me to convince you to come and see him. He cries for you. He is toxic and you know it. But running away from him won't change him. What would you have me do? Stay here until he kills me? No. It's never my wish for you. So listen, you are a good woman. You have done your best. You have done what every good woman would do. But at the same time, I do not want to be sentimental in my judgment. If you will listen to my advice, Please, go back to him. Give him one more chance and see for yourself if he has actually changed. That whatever decision you now take, everybody will understand. I wish I 
I had these books before I got married, I would have seen life differently. You're correct. Even if you didn't read the books, you can at least get some teachings about marriage. It will help you a whole lot to learn and understand how to keep your home. Maybe if you're exhibiting certain characters that are not good, these books will also help you solve them. Yeah. Very correct. I mean, so far, I've learned a lot. I mean, I'm almost done with this one. Go on. Keep reading. My greatest desire is to have my wife back. Remember the night before you traveled? Still in my memory. Don't pray that. Oh. Oh, God. It's okay. You so much, Titus. Mrs. Kate, I'm happy to see you come back for him. You know, I keep telling people there is no perfect marriage anywhere. Uh, divorce should only come in when it is too dangerous to stay. But people are quick to divorce their partners these days. See, if there is a little chance, please. Make it work. Just make it work. Thank you very much, Doctor. At least now I know better. Oh. Mm. Okay. Um, I learned you're here to take him. Yes. Yes. That's because, you know, we need him closer to home. That way I'll be able to be at his beck and call. Yes. I learned you, you're coming from Asaba. Asaba. Oh, the journey is so far and the road are bad. The rooms are bad, okay. What I'll do, I'll go and get the necessary documents ready so you can sign them and take him. Thank you, thank you.
about to take Elijah up to the heaven by a whirlwind. Elijah and Elijah. Uh, How are you doing today? As you can see, uh, I'm doing a lot better. Good. Mm -hmm. Run a few chores. Oh, no, it's too bad. That's good. Good news. Huh? Uh, kids, I can see you are doing a very good job. Hmm? <laughs> you are taking good care of him. Well, he is my husband. Uh -huh. And I won't leave him for anyone in this world. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> That is good. That is good. Oh, uh, that reminds me. I have a very good news for you. Uh, Annabe and her boyfriend has been arrested. Please, please. I don't want to hear that name again. Uh, Respectfully, would you not mention that name close to me, please? Okay. I have moved on. You say so? Come on, honey. I mean, that woman deserves to be punished for what she has done. At least so that other people will learn from her mistake. Exactly, you're right, kids. Eh? See, well, they're in police custody. Eh? And I want them to be punished yes. by the law. For doing, for doing, doing that to you. How is your child? Oh. Well, he's with the relative. That's fine. Don't worry, stop stressing. Ah! Yeah. What? 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 Yeah. What?